She was asked recently about the key to beauty, and she said it's always to be looking at someone who loves you. She has three children, a husband of nearly seven years, and a brand new romantic thriller out called Duplicity. And recently we had a chance to talk about all this. The new movie, Duplicity, about championship spies facing off in a duel of secret strategies and seduction. Clive Owen and Julia Roberts, the Julia of red carpet glamour, electrifying smiles, radiantly a movie star, while living inside her life. Home with husband Danny Motor, her four-year-old twins Phineas and Hazel, and 21-month-old Henry. So we decided to start with a kind of rocket round of questions about real life today. I wish I could stop. I wish I could stop, um, you know, staying up late when I have to work. I want to go home. Last night at 9 o'clock I said I want to go home. And they said you have, I got home at midnight. What time do you go to bed? I normally go to bed about 9.15. Which means you're up? At 5. At 5. Before anybody stirs. But also, I mean, you know, the baby doesn't sleep through the night mm -hmm. on a regular basis. So then there's that. I, I need my rest. I wish I could start exercising every day. When my children are sleeping, I think. I just want to lay down right next to them. Smell their sweet little puppy breath. Right? I dragged Finn into bed with me last night at 1230. I just... Picked him up out of his bed, brought him into my bed, and he woke up. He goes, I went to sleep in one bed, and I woke up in another bed. <laughs> <laughs> a mother's love is a very unpredictable thing. Does work feel like a distraction from where you want to be? Is it hard to peel yourself away? I mean, getting out of the house, is, as any mom knows, is a challenge and takes 17 minutes longer than ever before. Um, so it's hard to go and, but then once I'm there, I mean, if I've made that commitment, I owe it to my family to be fully present at my work or why would I leave them? And they do now know what you do because- They last haven't time. really figured it out. No. Though there's so many posters for duplicity around that um, my daughter did ask me the other day, mommy, I saw this picture of you and Clive and I go, isn't that nice? Because we work together, and so someone like made that picture. I'm like, oh, they, will, you know. I want to play a clip because uh, you're trying to entice him to work with you. So what do you have to do to get forty million dollars? Go private. Be smart. Get lucky. How smart? Smart enough to pick the right partner. Private, you mean? Corporate. And lucky. Be someplace when something's happening. Be there first, hear it first. Something inside. Something big. But do it upright. Set it deep. Take your time. Know your way out before you go in. You know what I think? I think you like the idea. It is deception within deception and we think we know everything, but so do you. Yeah, you never do. <laughs> and you never do, yeah. no one ever does. Okay, let's play another scene because you, uh, with your wiles, well, you're testing, you're always testing him. I, I, Was he it, yeah. with another woman? Yes. Are these hers? What is that? It's a thong. It was in your closet. That's not possible. Well, whose are they? Nobody's because it's impossible. Impossible what? That someone would leave them or you'd forget? Or that I'd find them? Impossible because I've been faithful. Which closet? Which closet? This is insane. You're denying this? Absolutely. The only woman who's been in this place since I moved in is the landlady and she couldn't wear that as a wristband. So where do they come from? Look, I swear to you. Claire, I swear, I swear on all things good and true, I have no idea who they belong to. And the fact that you don't believe me, the fact that we've been through everything that we've been through and that you still don't trust me on this is quite frankly disturbing. Well, in that case, I'll put them back on. <laughs> Wretched. You know what he said? He said that, well, he said two things. First of all, he said every time 
you had a sex scene, a romantic scene, uh -huh. where you got the giggles. Uh -huh. Like, impossible. Both of us. Both, Both of us you. giggling like girls, <laughs> which is more appealing in me, I think, but <laughs> maybe not. You did the movie when you were, what, I don't know, he was just eight months old? I think when that. we started, he was seven months old, and uh -huh. when we finished, he was ten months old and walking. Isn't that crazy? Looking I couldn't, I couldn't look, exercise. Yeah. I mean, I just, there's no time, and, and, um, you know, but I had a great um, understanding costume designer, Albert Walski, who cinched me up pretty well. And um, yeah, just you gotta <laughs> hope for the best in those situations. How do you find time in the day for three, for three children, all of whom are looking for the light in your eyes? Well, it's just my greatest honor to try to be there, be present, make it all work somehow. And they're so generous and forgiving and understanding. And so, when you go home at the end of the day today, mm -hmm. is there a family dinner? Is there a ritual? We usually have family dinner mm -hmm. almost every night. Um, if I've been home during the day, I'll cook dinner. Obviously, I, I won't cook dinner tonight. But, um, family dinner and we just I mean we I have almost every meal with the kids but um, you know by the end of the day yeah we're all there together and we always have a moment where we talk about the things that we're the most grateful for and Henry always either says daddy or Louie which is one of our dogs. And you were saying that you think that one of the biggest gifts you give your children is the way you and Danny look at each other mm -hmm. because they are echoing and mirroring everything that you're doing I asked Henry our youngest who will be 20 21 months old tomorrow I pointed to my sister and I said now what's her name and he said honey and I realized that's all I call her honey hi honey what are you doing honey and it didn't wasn't really part of my consciousness until he said that and so you realize that Everything they're doing is a reflection of all of those things. And so my relationship with Danny is, you know, it shapes their hearts.